Hey there friends and welcome to my first Space Haven series. I'm Icon and this is my first time playing Space Haven on video series. This is going to happen in the alpha version 12 and well this will be me exploring that game and learning it from the scratch. I have had a bit of a on-off relationship with that game, with its previous versions, trying to learn how things are working and trying to explore what's happening there. But the last few times I was here, I saw a game with great promise, but well, I wanted to wait until it's a little bit more fleshed out. But with the anniversary update now, I feel like we are at a point that I finally wanted to showcase it and do one learning series that will help everybody who's new to the game or wondering if it's uh, interesting for him or her can find out how everything works out. So I came up with the idea because we can't really turn off the tutorial and I already kind of like know what I'm doing but there have been so many changes between the last time I played this game and this time so I'll have I'm very happy to play the tutorial side by side with you friends so we're going to have to build a spaceship for our four people here at the beginning we don't have anything to work with we need a lot of different things. So we are now told to build a tools facility. Tools are necessary for building stuff, as far as I can see. Space Haven has a really massive depth going on for itself already. And well, as far as I've seen things, let's see. This game is a very, very similar experience like RimWorld just in space so I really felt very very eager to try it out but here's the tools facility okay we're going to put that down right here okay so I don't really know yet what we're going to need those tools for but we're definitely going to find out so here we go setting that thing up and now we have the object not on the power grid. So we have a power generator and create optimal gas conditions. We're going to need an oxygen generator and a gas scrubber, I see, yeah. So these are, well, quite obvious. Oxygen is being generated out of water. Well, okay, good to know. And the gas scrubber just needs electricity, okay. Oh, look at that. There's uh, stats now. I don't know of these from the days past. Okay, we can use in-floor power nodes for, that's, for that purpose. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, we're going to move that thing onto the power grid. Yes, please. Okay. So luckily these things can be moved and uh, transported somewhere else. Because the power grid here, it shows this is our power generator and now we're building a, a node which will connect the power generator with the other thingies there. Let's see, build a thermal reg regulator. We can do Okay, so. Let's see, this power node needs to be linked. So here, power grid links here, create link, there we go. Now it's flowing over here to here too. And now we're going to need a thermal regulator. I mean, there is already a thermal regulator here. Do one of the following. Well, okay. We're going to do that. So the first step we need to do in this game is to build our, for, uh, build our own spaceship. And, well, I really got no clue yet how, how this is going to look like in the end. 
but for now let's just uh, follow these objectives and see what it, where it will lead us. I was quite I, I was kind of like happy and unhappy at the same time when I saw that yeah okay link a power node we already did that uh, when I saw that the uh, tutorial was mandatory here because I felt like there were so many things that I wanted to catch up with that I was quite happy. So we shall build light. Well, is that facility stuff? Furniture. Lights are furniture. Okay. Well, I'll drop one light down here. And yeah. Really, really looking forward to this one because there's a lot going on for this game. You're not only building your spaceship. Wait a sec. View systems. Can we already what? Ah, here. So there's a lot to explore out there, and I'm really curious about how, what they did implement now. So you see, this point here is uh, consisting out of different spots where we can travel. There are different suns. I don't know if we can, what we can discover here, but every system is supposed to be like a, a cluster of these pirate coalition system, safe system, uncontrolled system. So there's really a, a huge world to explore, expand the spaceship's hull. Okay. So let's do this. Where can I do that? Build menu, edit. Okay. Here we go. Uh, so build hole. I guess that's what we need. All right. So this is uh, the rear section of your ship and this is uh, the front section of your ship. I had a hard time keeping these uh, keeping these under control the first time I played this. So. Six on eight for that side. Well, okay, we can't expand on that side because this is the airlock, I see. Okay. Maybe my perspective uh, is not right about this. Build beds for my crew. Build a toilet for my crew. Okay. So we got whole blocks 26. How many of those do we actually need? For that area well I don't know yet but we'll find out since it seems to me that everything we can build is also able to be moved let's build a couple of bunk beds to begin with since everything seems to be able to be moved I don't uh, take it too seriously now where we start out our uh, our sleeping area because I feel like everything in here will be moved after all. So there we go. Maybe I'm going to use this little niche as a sleeping spot in the near future. Who knows? Okay, but now they have their beds. So now we need a toilet. Well, a toilet sounds like something where we want some privacy in. To me, at least, I would assume that. So we're going to build that toilet here. Oh, yeah. I do like the comfort. How easy can things be moved in here? Also, the game looks a lot better since the last time I was uh, checking it out. Okay, here we go. Object not on power grid. So we need a new power node. Build a kitchen module or an algae dispenser. Okay. The algae dispenser is the pendant to the nutri paste dispenser of Rimworld. Nobody likes eating algae, but it's marginally better than starving to death. Yeah. Kitchen. Place a table and chairs nearby to create a proper dining room. Okay. So how's that power thingy working? These have different power capacities. Okay. And this thing here produces... How much power does it produce? Nobody knows. <laughs> okay. 
Hmm. We'll find out. So the wall power node is more powerful than the inflow power node. And the power node itself is the biggest uh, thing to get there. Okay. Well, I'll put down one more of those on the floor. And, well, I'd say I'll let myself guide through all the necessary items we need to build before I decide on any designs or stuff like that. So nodes, everything here consists out of blocks. Energy blocks, what do we have here? Tech blocks, hall blocks we've already met. Infra blocks, soft blocks. So these are our resources. And we gather resources from outside meteor, uh, meteors or other uh, spaceships which we can salvage or destroy or both. So I'm really looking forward to our adventures here because this is going to be quite awesome, I can already tell. So this is our boarding ship and these are our po pods. This is, or no, not our boarding ship, this is our shuttle. And these are our mining pods, which we will use to mine these asteroids. There's a lot of things I still know how they work, but also a lot of things which I just simply forgot. So. Crew management, okay, priorities. Schedule, ships, robots. So, where are you to say? Construction. I want that on a higher priority. Logistics. Okay. The red stuff is the military things. Well, we're going to discover that in the near future. It seems like everybody's sleeping now and grabbing their, f their breakfast here from our storage area. Well, we do have nuts and seeds, space food even, artificial meat, fertilizer, biomatter, okay. Fruits, root vegetables, okay. So we're going to live with these things. This seems to be our clock, okay. Let's link that thing. Here we go. Expert mode. Enable advanced power link types. One way link. Okay. Special link. Allows power to flow only when a threshold has been reached in a power source node. Okay. Cool. So, transforms ice into purified water, okay. So, the water purifier, for example, I've, uh, I have no clue about. So, this transforms ice into, into water. Well, I'll put that right next to the, uh, to the kitchen. So, our, uh, friends here will be now. using this kitchen area here also to chill out a bit maybe put a wall light in on here as well well probably here okay that's better okay so we got that one too mine an asteroid with the asteroid select click the mine button Set the aside. And okay, well, sounds easy enough. We're going to mine ourselves some ice. I want to mine two units of ice. Build a recycler. Transforms scrap materials into a variety of usable resources. Releases heat and is noisy. Okay. Enclose with walls and a space suit door to ensure a safe working environment. Okay, so this is the first thing where we actually get a uh, specific 
note that we should be careful with that. So I'm going to expand the ship here a little bit more. Let's see. Move these things. Oh, we can even move the power grid nodes. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, that's really good. Nowhere to relax. Okay. Yeah, guys, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Okay, so the links, they forget the links they had before. Okay. Not too terrible. Okay. Well, now we got the toilet in the middle of the spaceship, but you know, we're going to construct the, uh, the frame and then think about other things uh, then. Insufficient available resources. Okay. Let's move that table as well. I want to put up some chairs for them. X1 chair. Okay. So at least make sure that these guys can eat some have some privacy okay now they want us to build a recycler now well maybe that corner here or well no don't want to go into that corner let's build the recycler into this area here and let's see they want me to build walls a space suit door. Let's put that up like here, I'd say. Yeah. And some walls. Just like that. Well, got a slight perspective issue here, but well, let's see. I don't know if I uh, did it right here. Maybe it goes like that. This seems to make more sense to me. Okay, things I need to discover how they work, but well, that's why we're here. Because I feel like uh, Space Haven has a lot of complexity going on and that's why I wanted to get into this game and give everybody a fresh start because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person having no clue how this game is supposed to work. <laughs> okay, so now they're uh, building them walls. But there's a hole in the walls here. You know? Ah, now we can. Now we can do the walls correctly. Okay. So the arrow was uh, was giving me uh, the trick uh, the idea here. So build a hull stabilizer reinforces the spaceship's frame, strengthening it and generally improving structural integrity. Okay, we need that also for hyper jump capabilities. Mmm, hyper jumps. Now we're talking business. Okay. Well, this doesn't really look like a, a professional spaceship yet, but it sure looks like a place where we can do our thing. Okay. So now the recycler is 
can we do here? Soft scrap. Tech scrap, energy scrap, okay. We don't have these items yet, so let's see. Hull stabilizer is a system you know, thingy. Well, Hyperium hyperdrive. Soon, soon, soon. Well, I'd say we'll put that thing down into the middle of our uh, spaceship here. That's where I feel like it belongs. Hull stability achieved. Okay, awesome. This feels promising. Equip my crew members. Select the character and use the draft button. After this action, move them close to storage facility. Okay. Let's see, pick up or punch. Okay, I want to pick up things. So we have one shotgun. And then we can undraft them. Okay, so we need to do that now with everybody. I guess. Explore a derelict ship. Okay, let me equip all my dudes first. Alrighty. Can't wait to get past the uh, tutorial bits now. I remember these parts quite well, but I also got the feeling as if a lot of the menu things have changed since way back then. So I feel like... Why do I have to do that twice? All right, pistols. Meant as a sidearm. Okay, explore a derelict ship. When drafted, can board a shuttle. Okay, let's open up. While the shuttle is drafted, with the shuttle selected, use the dock button. Once the shuttle is docked, drafted. Okay. So, can we draft everybody? Yes, we can. But I'd say we're going to wait with that until tomorrow because it's already late and our dudes here are supposed to be supposed to be well. Okay, let's check out this here. Accuracy, accident, attributes. There has been a major overhaul of things too. Lonely. Someone was mean to me. Hungry. Major discomfort. Okay. Uncomfortable environment. Yeah, okay. It's relatable. The ship is really not uh, in a shape where I feel like we're uh, we're supposed to be proud of it. Okay, now I think everybody will go to sleep after that. Yeah. Okay, so with tomorrow we're going to see how an attack plays out. Well, okay. Exploring that derelict ship down there. But I felt like I wouldn't. Uh, I wanted to do these guys the favor to to be well rested before we get there. So breakfast time. Can I check out their needs? Food, yeah. They're supposed to have breakfast. Everybody of them. Why aren't they all eating? Okay, so... Let's see, is that a uh, thing of their schedule, maybe? Work, free time, I see. Well, okay, we're going to draft everybody now. And let's see, move to... Spacesuit on. Enter craft, that's what we want. Okay, now we can... We can dock there. What's that? 
click to dock selected craft here. Okay. Now we're flying over there, don't we? Okay. Click to exit craft. Okay. Explore derelicts. Okay, there's a couple of aliens. It's a lot of aliens, actually. But we seem to be more than powerful enough to take them down. Alright. There's another one. Okay. So this is definitely the combat tutorial. Oh, what's that? New data log. Okay, cool. So there's absolutely a lot of uh, material lying around here for us to work with. So I wonder if they if these were all the aliens. No, there's more of them. Okay, ship explored. Salvage available. Select the explored derelict by clicking this message or zooming out. Yeah, okay, we're getting the orders how to get out of here. Be sure to undraft your members and the shuttle. Your crew, crew members will be able to work on the derelict and use the shuttle to transport resources automatically. Okay. So we're uh, going to undraft them now. And salvage. Soft scrap, infra scrap. Yeah, well. We want to salvage that all, and we want to s transfer these things as well. Here we go. Oh, my shuttle needs to be undrafted too. Okay. Now, my dudes and dudettes will, un will disassemble this ship while we're, uh, while we're busy waiting here. Awesome. Now the next step will be building two Hyperium hyperdrives and a navigation console. Yeah. This will be what we need to get out of this system actually. So let's see. We're going to... Can we actually rotate them? No we can't. So I'm going to build one hyperdrive here and the other one here. I really do like that, to have them like that. Okay, so this will now take a while until that ship has been disassembled. But I really want to gather that scrap because I feel like this is going to be very, very important for us. Incoming ship next turn. Okay. All right, so what's that yellow energy? Okay, all righty. So I'm going to fast forward this until we're done with the construction processes and the uh, salvaging, I'd say. So we have finished the building of the hyperdrives. The only thing we're lacking now is the navigation console. And with that, we're going to be able to navigate here in the system, I guess. Well, let's put that down here. Luckily, everything on this ship can be moved, even the hyperdrives. So, well, it's giving me some hope. I also took the liberty to build myself a new storage area because the old one was just uh, rim filled with stuff. We will be able to recycle all these items that we get gather here because we gathered a lot of scrap items. 
and we will be able to tra to transform these into something useful. So uh, here we can set up continuous uh, jobs, but I don't want to set up these jobs for now because I want to make sure that the necessary next steps will be done. So there's a lot of ship to be disassembled, but our crew was already very So has already done a lot of uh, recycling here. So how am I supposed to, ah, here, see it. Fate's hand. Okay, probability, none, high. Well, and an operations console is now asked for. Wow. I have really no clue if it's uh, a good idea to keep salvaging that thing now or not. But we're going to put up a operations console next. Well, honestly, we can move the thermal regulator somewhere else. And put that uh, operations console right next to the navigation console. I feel like that's a fitting thing. So we seem to be flying a, a space cube right now. <laughs> well, okay. If it works, it works, you know. So let's see what will be the next task for us. We could, of course, start recycling these things, and now we're supposed to build a new research lab. But considering the lack of space right now on my ship, well, how many hull blocks do we have? 14 more so well on this grid you can see how large the ship can max uh, can be built maximally and i'd say we're we're well able to get ourselves some more room here but let's do it for now like that yeah i like that so meanwhile we're still disassembling that ship don't know if it's really worth it that much, but we have now a really crowded little ship, but well, at least it's our ship, you know. So friends, that's going to be the end of our first episode. Next episode, we're going to be able to do our first jump, I guess. Research will be enabled the next time. That's a completely new topic for me. Back when I played that game the first time, there was no research, and that was really annoying. <laughs> And well, okay, feel free to drop your comments down below, leave a like on that video if you want to make it more visible and, and it would really help me a lot. Also feel free to check out my channel where I do daily content just like that. And if you subscribe and turn on those notifications, you won't miss anything in the future. Also in the description below, you will find my social media links alongside with these, my Discord server, where you can meet a fine and friendly community and also ways and means to support this video channel project financially. If you like this work, it will always be free for you and a helping hand would be more than appreciated. But most importantly, let me thank you one more time for watching this video because this is already the biggest form of support I could imagine. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.